There are two types of people who try to rise Hyperland. The first type, Silver Bullet Chasers, they jump from dot .files to dot .files, always looking for the perfect setup that someone else built. They copy configs that they don't understand, things break, and then they give up. The second type, Principal Hunters, they learn the fundamentals. They understand how Hyperland works, they build their own configs, and they create setups that actually last. Not for hours or days, but for weeks and for months. Today, I will be breaking down why one approach fails and the other succeeds, and how to become a principal hunter. Now, as for silver bullet chasers, they're always chasing the next big thing, right? They see a beautiful setup on r slash Unix porn, and then they immediately clone the dot files. It looks amazing for five minutes, but then something breaks. They don't know how to fix it because they don't actually understand what they copied. And so they find another perfect setup, and then they start over. The cycle repeats. They're always configuring, never actually using the setup. They think the problem is that they haven't found the right dot .files yet, but then the problem is the approach. They have a bunch of characteristics, right? So let me write the characteristics down for you so that you can see for yourself whether you are a silver bullet chaser or not. The first one is going to be jumps between configs constantly. Now, if I had to say the hallmark or the cornerstone of a person who is a silver bullet chaser is going to be this, which is jumping between different configs constantly whether it's configs that you make yourself or a config that you have cloned from someone else, this is the hallmark and the cornerstone. Second is going to be copying without understanding, without understanding. Third one is going to be if setup breaks, setup breaks, can't fix it, can't fix it. Fourth one is going to be unsatisfied. Now there are two types of dissatisfactions you can have as a Hyperland riser, okay? The good dissatisfaction is when you have a setup that you like, but then you want a setup that looks better. That's good. Now here, the second type of dissatisfaction comes from a place of lack, which is what most silver bullet chasers suffer from, which is that they're dissatisfied, not because they want more, not because they want their setup to look better, okay? But because their setup just sucks and then they can't figure out how to make it work because of which they want a different setup. That is the key difference between a person who is dissatisfied as a principal hunter versus a silver bullet chaser. Now, the principal hunter, on the other hand, takes a different approach. They start with the Hyperland wiki and they read the basics. Not to memorize, but to understand. Let's say, for example, a hunter wanted to customize their animations. Okay, so most likely they would go to the Hyperland wiki and over there they click on the animations tab somewhere here in configuring would go to animations and then they just have a read through the wiki in order to see what the page is actually trying to tell you. They write their own configs from scratch, not because they're trying to be purists, but because they actually want to know how everything works. So when something breaks, they can actually fix it in minutes because they understand the system. Now, their setups aren't always the flashiest at first, but they're stable, they're functional, and they sure as hell get better over time because they are built on understanding and not copying. In fact, making a setup like this one, like the one that you see here with a custom theme switcher, is exactly what I teach you inside of the program Hyper Accelerator, which is the first link in the description. So basically, there I teach you how you can customize your setup and basically write code in order to configure your theme to look just like this over here. So you can load up a bunch of different themes that you like inside of a folder and you can switch between them whenever you want so that you're not bored of using the same theme over and over again. Not just that, but then you can also do it for wallpapers. So if you wanted to switch to a different wallpaper, you could easily do that with this wallpaper switcher over here. Not to mention, I also teach you how you can turn Hyperland into a desktop environment from just another Wayland compositor so that you don't have to basically be bored on Hyperland. So that basically includes a notification daemon like the Overwatch panel you see here, along with a logout menu like this, a lock screen here, and a hell of a lot more stuff like this brightness pop-up and volume pop-up over here. They, we call them OSDs in the Linux world and basically in any operating system that are called on-screen displays and they tell you the status of your system whenever you change something. And that is exactly what I teach you inside of Hyper Accelerator. So here inside of System Reforging, as you can see, we have over 10 hours of content over here. And if we go down to Theme Switchers, this module alone is two hours long and I teach you what Theme Switchers actually are, the different kinds, how to set up wallpaper-based theme switching, custom theme switching, so on and so forth, right? A lot of stuff. I also teach you how you can troubleshoot your setup, but not in the way that you'd quite expect. Here, I use mental models in order to teach you how you can do that. So here I cover what a mental model is, general thinking models, like here, problem solving and systems thinking models as well. If you haven't come across mental models before, this will completely revolutionize the way that you think about Hyperland and the way that you go about solving problems whenever they arise.
In fact, the entire point of this module is to teach you to build setups in a way that problems never arise in the first place. And even if they do, you're able to troubleshoot them in minutes, not hours or days. So if you want to learn how to make something like this, you can go ahead, click the first link in the description and check out Hyper Accelerator. And this setup, by the way, I was only able to create once I became a principal hunter. I was an avid silver bullet chaser in the past, trust me. There was nobody else who could top me in terms of switching from one setup to the other and breaking stuff. That was me back then. I was the king of that. But now, after finally realizing that it's unsustainable and doesn't actually get me anywhere and doesn't even lead to any satisfaction, I have since switched to becoming a principal hunter, only after which I was able to make setups that look like this. Not before. Even in my wildest dreams, I couldn't have imagined creating a setup like this when I was just a chaser. Now, the characteristics of hunters is that they read documentation first, they read docs first, then they write their own configs, write own configs. Now, even if the configs are simple, it doesn't matter. They have a tendency, not just a tendency, but then a fervent desire in order to write their own configs. After that, they, their setups are stable, setups stable, because they don't break and they know how to fix it, even if it does break. And after that, they are satisfied. They're satisfied, but not quite content but actually it should be the other way around they're content but not quite satisfied in the sense that they're always looking for a better setup but not in a negative sense not in a negative connotation like a chaser instead they want to create better setups which is why they're dissatisfied quotes now great i've already explained all of this sort of stuff and that's amazing but we still haven't covered why silver bullet seeking fails now the first reason for that is because there is no foundation when you copy configs you're building on sand the first time something breaks or needs to change, you're stuck. You don't know which file controls what, you have no idea which line does what, and you're basically helpless. Second reason is just constant dissatisfaction. You're always chasing perfect, right? In quotes. But perfect doesn't exist. There's always another setup that looks better. So you're never satisfied, never actually using your setup, but then always reconfiguring. Not even configuring for the joy of it, but then reconfiguring in order to just make it work. The third reason is you can't adapt. Your needs change, right? You want to add a feature and change your workflow, so on and so forth, but then you can't because you don't actually understand your own setup. So you start over again, looking for dot .files that have that feature. And even those dot .files don't have the feature that you had previously, and so this cycle never ends. That is why silver bullet seeking fails. Now the reason why principle hunting works is because you actually understand the principles. Now, when you do that, you can build anything. So even if a new tool comes out, you know how to integrate it. Something like Walker, you know how to do that. If something breaks, you can fix it. You're not dependent on others and their help. That's the first reason. Second reason is sustainable satisfaction. So you're satisfied because you built it yourself. You know it's good because you understand every choice. You're not wondering if there's something better. You know what you have and why. And even if there were something better, you actually know how to adapt that to your own setup instead of just copying it and hoping for the best. The third reason is infinite adaptability. Your setup evolves with you, right? If you have a new workflow, you add it. If you have a new tool, you integrate it. You're not starting over because you're building on a foundation that you actually understand. And this sort of stuff compounds over years. Okay, okay, all that's great. Now, but then how do I actually become a principal hunter, you might be thinking. Well, this is a simple five-step process that I have outlined over here. Now, first thing is to start simple. Start simple. Don't try to build the perfect setup on day one. Okay, start with a basic config that works. Start with the main high plan config, split it up into different configs. Okay, then go about dealing with each aspect of that config as time goes on. And once you start doing that, changes compound, and eventually you'll be able to make a setup like this. So understand each line before adding the next. That's what I'm trying to say. Step two is to read docs actually read the Hyperplan wiki, okay? Not to memorize, but then to understand the structure, to understand the syntax of certain aspects of the compositor, like animations, for example. How do you keep, how do you make keybinds work? How do you make animations work? So on and so forth. All of that you find out by reading the wiki. Even if you don't read the wiki, you can just watch my videos. I take whatever's inside of the wiki, I condense it, and I give you the TLDR version of it, which is extremely helpful. Step three would be to write yourself. Write it yourself, okay? So don't copy paste entire configs. Write each line yourself. So even if you're referencing someone else's config, type it out and understand what it does. Even if you don't want to, what do you call it? 
type out the entire config, at least copy it line by line. That way, your brain knows that it can't just copy the entire thing and get away with it, and actually has to understand what's working. Fourth thing would be to break things intentionally. Break things. Best way to learn is to break your setup on purpose. I've done it, and it definitely works. Once you break it and then fix it, you're able to understand what depends on what and how things go wrong if you comment out one section instead of the other. And lastly, we have build incrementally. Add one feature at a time. So let's say you're working on a custom theme switcher feature, okay? That would go, go something like, first of all, preparing the theme for the Rafi menu. Second of all, would be preparing the theme files for each of the different apps that you're using, whether it be your terminal first, your web browser, so on and so forth. Okay, you have to prepare all of that. And then you have to go about actually writing the script that ties everything together. Don't put the cart before the horse. And that's pretty much it. If you want to learn how to become a principal hunter, learning how to make setups that look exactly like this one, understanding every concept and not just copying configs, go ahead and check out Hyper Accelerator. It's over 10 hours of training, as you can see here, that teaches you the principles and not just the commands. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. Mwah.